saved a number of lives. We've dealt with overdose situations um, at events, and uh, we've dealt with violent situations at events. Um, mm -hmm. We're there to be first responders, and we're there to deal with crisis situations, and we're there to, um, to uh, support people to be safer. In terms of the drugs that are actually being taken now, Wendy, what, what are you seeing now? What are the most common drugs out there? A lot of attention is given to the ecstasy, but yeah. when we look at the numbers sort of overall, pot and alcohol are still the big ones. Yeah. Um, there's three basic types of drugs. There's the stimulants, which ecstasy falls into, so does cocaine and, and caffeine is a stimulant as well. Uh, then there are the, the depressants, which are things like alcohol and GHB and, and ketamine. Um, and then there's the hallucinogens, which are things like marijuana and LSD and so forth. There's some things that cross the categories, like ecstasy can also be considered a hallucinogen to a certain extent. But um, So we're seeing a wide variety of things and we're seeing uh, stronger forms of ecstasy go by slightly different names and uh, crystal meth. Uh, so there's there's a, a wide variety of things out there, but but to be honest, when we look at the numbers, pot and alcohol are still yeah. the number one drugs, and they're the, obviously the most readily available, I guess, too. But in terms of what some of these some of the more popular things, like you'd mentioned ketamine, you'd mentioned uh, ecstasy, is still there. But what what are the effects on the body of some of these substances? Well, ecstasy. Um, releases a neurotransmitter called serotonin. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, that causes very pleasurable feelings and, and happiness and, and so forth. And uh, certainly antidepressants work by increasing serotonin, although to a much lesser extent. I mean, sometimes people will compare ecstasy and antidepressants and say, well, what's the difference? Well, <laughs> it's like an antidepressant would be like a little tap on the knee. Um, ecstasy would be like a sledgehammer <laughs> <laughs> sort of thing. So, you know, there. Sure, they work on the same chemical, but quite differently. Ecstasy releases a lot of it very quickly, and so you get the big rush. And what comes along with that as well, then, is a big crash down. And so uh, people often, uh, the next day, I mean, partly they've been up, they've been dancing all night, but the next day they'll actually meet the cr clinical criteria for depression. Now, it's not depression, because that has to be for a longer period of time, but certainly um, some of the feelings and, and fatigue and, and so forth of depression can go along with it. Well, I'm just going to have to stop you there really quickly, Wendy. We're going to head for a quick break, but we'll be hearing more, obviously, about the other drugs as well. We'll be back with more on what you need to know about today's drug scene right after this short break. Please stay with us. You're watching Medical Intelligence.